Okay, so we have Kevin in the studio now. Vikings offensive coordinator, Kevin Stefanski. Hi. Hey, Wabi. How's it going, man? Great. Thanks you for having me. You bet. Your first press conference of training camp is over. Congratulations. Thank you. I yeah. did it. You got it, got it kicked off the right way. Before we do our interview, uh, Corso's got some funny sound we want you to hear. Okay. Can't wait. All right. I'm ready. Thoughts on that? <laughs> that's the Wayback Machine you guys yeah. just took me. That's so, the year 2009. Yes, that's right. The voices we heard in there were? Brett Favre. Brett, yeah. Probably Jared and Allen. Jared, yeah, definitely. I believe that would have been after the Cowboy, the divisional round win over the Cowboys. Because yeah. it was one down, two more to go. Yep, it was after a playoff win. and <laughs> I'm sure all of our listeners remember Pants on the Ground from American Idol. Yep. The, that 15 minutes of fame for that right. gentleman. Right, that's right. What um, what a season that was, huh? How much time do we have? Yeah, <laughs> not <laughs> enough to go through the whole thing, but that was well, that was that was pretty crazy. It was magical, and and you know, a lot. Oftentimes, we focus on how it ended instead of thinking mm -hmm. how it was. And for me personally, that was the first time that I was in a the meeting room. So oh. I was the uh, my first year as a quality control coach. So here I am bright-eyed and bushy tail, as Coach Childers would say, and mm -hmm. I'm in the quarterback meeting room, and here comes Brett Favre, Hall of Famer, soon to be. So w amazing what a way to break into the yeah. profession, both <laughs> with that quarterback and with that season. Yeah, but We're trying to remind people how long you've been around the team, and that well, goes pretty far back. Yeah, yeah I, don't I don't predate Wobby, though. <laughs> Not quite, but pretty close. <laughs> close. Uh, pretty close. And actually, I have something on here I was going to ask you. What were you doing on July 24th, 2005? Okay, and the reason that's the date is right now it's the 24th, I believe. Yep, it's the 24th right now. Yeah. 05. Yeah. That was my first day of Vikings training oh. camp as an employee. Happy I was an anniversary. Intern. Thank you. I was an intern. <laughs> yeah. Um, you were here the next year, 06, but I want to know what you were doing in 05. Yeah, I was uh, also interning for okay. the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. And yeah. that was uh, their training camp when it was up in Bethlehem, uh, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Lehigh University. And uh, what a year. that you know, T.O. and McNabb. And okay. Very interesting times. Yeah, uh, I guess I've seen it all when, yep. I, when I think back <laughs> to it. But uh, yeah, quite an opportunity for me, and that's kind of when I first got the the taste of this profession and, mm -hmm. and knew this was something that I wanted to do. Yeah, so th you know, all that has happened from July twenty fourth of '05 through now, you know, is has been pretty crazy. And we just went through some sound from '09. But what are some things that stand out? A couple of things for my career. Yeah, you know, I think it's always the people. Mm -hmm. for me and for a lot of us and you think back to the amazing characters that have made their way through this building and, and we just mentioned brett i mean jared mm -hmm. allen you know guys i've gotten to coach over the years whether at the tight end position or the running back position and it's fun because we as coaches show a lot of tape from previous years oh yeah so there's plenty of tape that guys are watching and it's a brett Favre clip thrown to sydney rice or percy harvin or we, we try to because these plays yeah. as i tell everybody you know, there's plays that stand the test of time, and they're part of our offense. So we like to show, hey, guys, this is look at this play back from – I mean, we got tape going way back. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's, it reaches the guys when you have that. But to your question, I just think back to those personalities that have walked through that door, and, and it's mm -hmm. many of them. Yeah, should for we, sure. Should we quiz him right now? Yeah, what do you got? Can you name all the starting quarterbacks that you have worked with <laughs> since you've been here? I, I would probably have to start with Favre. Uh, no. Well, I mean, no. if you want to go back to 06, oh, 06 yeah. you start with uh, oh my God. the bull, Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson. <laughs> That's right. And then it was go way back. Tavares Jackson. Mm -hmm. Brooks Bollinger yeah. was on that team. And side note on Brooks Bollinger. Wow. The greatest handoff quarterback in the history. He should go in the Hall of Fame because <laughs> he did something better than anybody at Wisconsin, handing off to those great running backs. Yeah. Can't, was it Ron Dane? Ron Dane, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then here – he was the quarterback when Adrian broke the record, 296 versus okay. the Chargers. Uh, was Tavares he, got, he was yeah. a quarterback that day. Yeah. So, Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, Bollinger. Gus <laughs> Farratt. Mm -hmm. Kelly Holcomb. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to jump to Christian Ponder, Joe Webb. I'm going to go to – Joe Webb. Mm -hmm. Monday Night Football. Joe Webb. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I will say this. Speaking of personalities, 
in my opinion, Joe Webb is the best teammate I've ever been around. Oh, yeah? His teammates loved him, yeah. and he was great for the locker room. Was His enthusiasm was infectious, and it's I think it's no mistake, the guy's still playing. Yeah, so that's he's, right. He's found a way, he's found a role, and it's hard to – it's hard to run guys like that out of your building mm -hmm. when he's such a team guy. Yeah. Um, so I'm a Joe Webb fan. Yeah. Uh, so keep going. Who, who am I missing? Um, Did we get to we Christian? Saw, uh, yep. Then you would have gotten Matt into Matt Castle. Oh, yeah, Matt. Mm -hmm. Tavares Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we mentioned him. Tavares. We mentioned him. Then let's go Teddy, Teddy, Sean Hill, Sam Bradford. I shouldn't do this because I'm going to forget somebody. Uh, Case, <laughs> Case, Kirk. Did I miss somebody? I think you nailed them. Oh boy, that's pretty good. That's a lot. And um, talk about experience. Yeah, and it, and like you said, it's personalities. You're dealing yeah. with a lot of personalities, you know. Um, and you want to have quarterbacks who are good teachers because you you rely on them to be an extension of your coaching staff. And I think you guys have found some players who have been good in that way. You know? We have an outstanding quarterback room, particularly right now. Yeah. That, that we're talking about. I mean. I think so highly of the coaches we have in that room. I think so highly of these players, and the discussion is outstanding. Mm -hmm. And we can really drill down as we're teaching. Questions come up, and I just I'm so impressed with the how these guys work together, and it's a collaborative effort. And there's there's really great questions being asked. Yeah, talk me through, you know, becoming the Vikings' offensive coordinator, and like <clears throat> Norv gets hired here, and it's like. Oh, Norv Turner. Like, mm. wow, Norv Turner. He's been a head coach. He's got clout, mm. right? Pat Shermer, where he, he's been in different spots, and he's got, he's got influence and clout. He's been a head coach. Was there any part of you that was like, you know, I started here with the Vikings in 06 when I started. You know, I, I was whatever rung of the ladder you want to say you were on. and you have, The bottom. Okay, <laughs> you have progressed up, and now you're the offensive coordinator. All the way but to the top. is part of it like, uh, like, like you're the Adam Thielen of coaches. You know what I mean? Like the the cute story of the, no, Adam no, would hate like, like, <laughs> like, like the cute story, like he's just worked his way up and he's so approachable and nice and everyone loves him. Whereas some other guys come in and it's they have clout. And did you have you ever battled that? Am I am I explaining it clearly? You're explaining. I just have okay. never thought about it. Okay. Well that's you know, good, I guess. I'm not looking that Maybe I'm not smart enough to think about it, but trying to be a cute story or whatever. Yeah. For me, the, the job I take so seriously. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, a big job. I appreciate how important it is. And our goal hasn't changed from week one, 2006. doesn't matter. We're trying to win football games here. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's so easy for me to get back to that and understand Coach Zim's team and what that looks like and how we win here, be, being offense, defense, special teams, everybody doing their part. So for me, I can focus on what I, I have to do to do my part, mm -hmm. um, and I'll let you worry about the rest. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> we, we, can, we can do the storytelling. Yeah. Um, who do you spend the most time with in the building here? Well, that's also a good question, something I don't think about. It's not you, thank God. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you who you spend a lot of time with is your quality control coaches. Yeah, and which we you've have, been one. So. I've been one, so yeah. I know that drill. So we have two really, really good ones in A.C. Patterson and Christian Jones are, are new to the Vikings this year. Mm -hmm. And those guys work their tail off. I don't even want to know what time they get in the building. Yeah, um, They're self-starters. They keep me informed. You know, I, Thank God they're here to help me. Um, because awesome. they really are, are going into meetings. Mm -hmm. There's, they leave no stone unturned, so I think they do an outstanding job.